Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're back out in a Briss build to destroy. And in this episode, we're going to be checking out another demo, Extended Demo 1.2, which has unlocked a bunch of new campaign levels so we can see kind of where this game is going to go. Now, if you did miss my first episode, I played this about five months ago. They made a demo for me, and it was fantastic. I'm really excited to get back into it, and we're going to be doing some more levels today. Now, I will be skipping the levels that I did in the first episode, so be sure to check out that one if you do want to see more of this content. Now, Ravine, it's kind of new, but it's essentially one of the older levels, but they redesigned it a little bit. If I remember correctly, this was like a full platform instead of... Uh, having it all open and something that we have to destroy. And I should mention, if you're new to this game, it's all about destruction. You have to design towers and weapons that will destroy everything that is white. So here's our blocks right here. We have heavy pillars, heavy beams, and connectors, and we can utilize these to obviously drop this tower down. Uh, what we have to do in this first level is get this tower off of this block, and then we can rebuild and then worry about destroying that second. At least I believe that's how we're going to do this one. So let's try it out. All right, so I want this heavy pillar as far over as possible. So we're just going to do that. Uh, I don't even think I really want the connectors. This should be enough to probably drop this. And that is all we need. And this is where this game is fantastic. Look at that destruction. Ah, oh, and perfect. Exactly what I wanted it to do. So we'll clear that. And now we have our second platform unlocked. And I believe, did the things get reset? I actually, I'm not too sure about that. I'm just going to build a massive tower here. And then up top, I'm essentially just going to build a giant square. And no connectors at all. I might regret that. Hopefully this thing stays together. I don't think we need the connectors. And that actually, I don't think is going to be enough. I mean, it's going to go into the middle. Okay, never mind. That's definitely enough. That was perfect. 97% destroyed. I think that's actually better than anything in my first run, so I will gladly take that. I don't know what the, where the 3% was, but hopefully we can get 100 sooner or later. Oh, use bombs to create explosions. Thanks, Captain Obvious. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm no bridge engineer, but I will say we probably want to take out the uh, two major supports with the bombs, right? Uh, also, I think the red things are explosive, so that should be an easy target as well. All right, now what's interesting is in this game, you actually can't fully rotate items. You can only rotate them, I guess that would technically be horizontally. So I can't just raise these up and build a giant tower like we did before. We're gonna have to build some sort of arm, I believe. And I don't know if I'll be able to reach out to the side supports or if I should just go for the main red beam at the, t at the top here. But we should do, do a connector on the ground. But with that connector on the ground, we should be able to build a giant beam here that can hopefully reach over. I'm thinking we should go for the supports as much as I want to go for that middle thing. Uh, I think we can easily build over to the supports with these connectors. Okay, so we have a bomb here on this connector and a bomb over here on this one. They're pretty close. I think that should be more than enough. And now we wait. Actually, I think we just pressed the button, right? Perfect. Done, baby. <laughs> oh God, this is going so well. Let's just appreciate this because these levels are probably going to get much harder very, very soon. We still missed a little bit of the bridge, unfortunately. This is probably another like 96% or never mind, 91%. Still, we only did it in one move, so that feels pretty good. All right, welcome to world three. We now have thrusters, so we can build some sort of rocket powered thing. I think I see what they want me to do here. They actually gave me a lot at my disposal as well, which is nice. So do I want? I guess they're all heavy beams. So let's just go simple here. Now, is there... There's actually an opening in the middle of these, as you can see. So I think we got to go for the side and knock it down. So we don't want this connected to this block because obviously we want this thing moving. So I'm not going to put a connector on it. We'll put the thruster in the back. Keep it nice and straight. Perfect. And then I think it's as easy as maybe a connector in the front here with a heavy pillar that will just... Oh, I didn't think about that. But if I put this... Actually, we can only rotate it this way. So I can't rotate it the other way, damn it. But we'll throw this in the front here. I'm going to put it that way. Hopefully, that's not, not too front heavy because it might hit this support and not go anywhere. Let's just try it out and see what happens. Oh, yeah, as I assumed, actually. Well... That's not how you're supposed to do it. Okay, what, what if we just keep this simple? Before we go for complex designs, we're just going to have the uh, the heavy beam and the rocket, and that might be all we need. That is not all. Oh, God damn it. Okay, so let's try this again with a little more height. We're going to uh, rocket it off. That's pretty good. Maybe if we put that little thing on the front that's uh, 
an extra block, it will go all the way through it because it kind of bounced to the right a bit. I'm not sure if that's going to help me at all, but... Oh! Oh, that was perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do at the start of this. I mean, we didn't get all the scaffolding down, but let's just wait. Give it a chance. We, we completed the job at least. There's still, unfortunately, a little bit up. But I'm not going for perfection down. I'm just going for destruction. So I'm going to complete that. That should still be a pretty good percentage destroyed. And yeah, 91 again, actually. All right, still at World 3. This one's called Launch. Ah, I, I, I see what we're doing here. Okay, so we have two thrusters this time. And we are going upwards. Ooh, we can do rotators? What are these? Oh, they actually just rotate. Okay, so that gives me an idea. Ooh. You know what we could do? We could put like a thruster on a heavy pillar and spin it. I guess this pillar is going upwards, not sideways. So that kind of sucks. All right. Well, I'm not sure really what the rotators are for then. Let's just try. Should we shoot off two? I feel like that would be a good idea. Maybe uh, weigh this one a bit to the right and one a little bit to the left because we do have a bomb as well. Okay. Hmm. There is a lot of options here. I could also just try and go for the middle and blow up the bomb right in the middle of this. Actually, I think that's a better option. All right, so yeah, change of plans. I was going to do two rockets, but I think honestly one thruster is the way to do it. Now, if I put this thruster down... Wow, oh, okay, so how am I going to... Hold on, control Z. I obviously need the rocket flipped around. I don't know how I'm going to do that, though, without placing a pillar down and then having to rotate it somehow. Ah, uh, you know what I can do? I was going to do like an, uh, an actual launch pad and uh, put the rocket on that with the connectors, but I feel like this is a better idea. What if we just use the connectors on the sides here, and this will make the structure wider. One thing I will say that absolutely sucks in this game is the cam- Damn it, I just deleted that. Is the camera? Thankfully, there's this screenshot mode where you can still build with. My thing is, like, why can't I just use this camera normally? Why do I have to go into a photo mode to get that? Because, yeah, it's a huge pain in the butt to uh, put anything below a block, as you can see. Like, there's no easy way to do it, and this is the only view you have. You can't view up and down. It really bothers me. All right, so now that we got that set up, let's just throw the bomb up top, and look at that. We have a little human rocket-looking dude. So now, if we hit go, hopefully this works. So we have sequences, which is nice. We're going to rocket up and then explode. Oh my god, I missed it. Oh, I have to do that again, because that was my first perfect job. All right, so apologies for my awful recording. Let's try that again, and this time... Oh, we actually got it on frame. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. All right, one more thing before we pass this level. I did actually reach out to the developers, kind of asking them about this whole camera thing, because I felt like it was kind of weird that I had to go into the screenshot mode to solve this level. I didn't think there'd be another way to solve it, but hey, I'm not the best builder, and there is indeed an intended way. So every creation in this game should be able to be built from this top-down view. And we're, we have to actually utilize these rotators, obviously. I'm, I'm sure some of you guys got that. But yes, these things rotate clockwise. So we should be able to just put a connector on this. And then if they are rotating clockwise, I think if we put them in this pattern, we should be able to get them to go down to the bottom. Oh, that's right. I kind of need a bomb as well. Okay, but if we try something like that and then engage rotation... Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's right, I have to stop it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just go around once, you know? I didn't know if it was 90 degrees or full rotation. That looks good enough for me. I mean, we've seen this before. We'll see it again. Oh, yeah, that's... That's exactly how it was supposed to happen. Perfect. All right, still got it. I don't care. I never said I was a rocket scientist, damn it. But you guys get the idea. Obviously, if you align that right, uh, it's going to work just like my other rocket. Okay, going into another puzzle, we have mirrors now. And with mirrors, we get lasers. And lasers are really fun in this game, from what I remember. Anyways, this is our biggest job yet. Uh, we have to destroy an entire city. So I guess I'm assuming we just put these on there, and then a laser on top, and we are good, right? We just gotta... Yeah. Anyways, let's turn this thing on and do some serious destruction. I feel like there's actually going to be a little bit of a challenge. Wait, how do I get over... Huh. How do I open the wall? Because there's this blockade over here. Is there a mirror behind me or something? Unless we just have to bounce it all the way around the city, which would be pretty cool. So we'll see if we can... Wait. What happened? Aw. Oh. So I'm assuming being that we don't have connector blocks, it just kind of fell off. <laughs> uh, so we have to be careful that we're not rotating too quickly. Because, yeah, as you can see, I even placed this wrong. 
it is a little bit to one side as you can see oh i get it okay looking more into this obviously we need to take this out to open this door you can see where the connectors go and if we can take this guy out that looks to be opening this door and then obviously there's some up here too so we just have to destroy the cores okay this is looking good just trying to <laughs> get it right there we go so that has opened that oh this is so cool i have destroyed myself multiple times so i'm just trying to <laughs> not move my laser too much i just need to destroy that blue thing in there come on man there we go that's got to be it right is it destroyed oh my god the, the laser designs are absolutely insane and i just destroyed my laser somehow as you can see like i knocked the front of it off i wonder if it overheats Okay, I have opened up the middle. I'm definitely not going to go for 100 with this one. This is actually one of the hardest ones yet, which is weird because it's just three blocks. But there's a lot of strategy when it comes to this laser. All right, but there we go. It's going down. I'm just going to slowly swipe back and forth until I can't destroy anymore. There we go. I mean, at least I'm doing a good amount of destruction now. Thing is clear. I'm going to destroy those final buildings way over there, hopefully. I don't know why my laser's doing so well this time. Before, it wasn't doing very well, but there we go. It's a laser light show. That actually might be 100%. I don't know what the definition of a total destruction is. There's obviously rubble on the ground, but I don't think... Yeah, I can't hit anything else. Okay, there's a little bit there. Oh, and there goes my laser anyway, so I guess we're complete now. That should still be... A really good job, and wow, a perfect job. I'll take it. All right, welcome to World 4, ladies and gentlemen. This one's named Catapult. It's looking like we have more connections here that we have to destroy, and then possibly it should catapult these blocks, I'm thinking. So what we're going to do, what would I really like about building in this game, if you hold your mouse and click, it will go to the edges. So if we build something like staircases up here, some ultra-heavy cubes up top, I mean, we don't have to be fancy with this design. We're essentially just trying to have an avalanche, so... Let's just try something like that and see what happens. Goodbye. And that should be it, right? We just wait. Yes. Oh, man. That was way more intense than I expected. That went well. All right. And there we go. 97%. Now we have one more level. And then we are done. Use cannons to reach far away targets. Gladly. At least we have a new weapon to enjoy. It looks like recoil is a thing, so that's going to be fun. Uh, I'm assuming that's what I need to hit. And then we have more catapult-like designs. I think I have to possibly load them, though, it looks like. So for the start here, let's just see what happens when we shoot this. And we'll go from there. Done. And that opens up this, which destroys all that. I did not see this in the back. Oh, man. <laughs> the amount of destruction particles is great. We might actually be able to destroy it with the particles. No. So that's where there's going to be some strategy here. So what we're going to want to do is put these nice and far over here. That should hopefully fall on top of that. I don't know if that's going to be far enough, but if we put the ultra heavy cubes up top, maybe even with the connectors, that's probably what we're supposed to do. So we'll do those with some connectors on top. And you get the idea. We're going to have these giant, hopefully, beams that will fly through the air once these things land over there. If they land over there. I don't know. I don't think we need anything else. Let's just throw the heavy beam up top on one of these just for the funsies. Okay. And there we go. Let those things fall first. That was a total waste. But the rest might be good. That's what I wanted to see. All right. Shoot. And that destroyed that. Let's back up here. Let's actually move over. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, if we can hit those, that's all I need. It looks like the one went a bit far, the other one direct freaking hit. Uh, if we can get that other one, though, well, it still blew up anyways, but if it would have blew up up top, we would have been able to get that. Let's just see how much we did. Definitely not our best run, 84%. Let's try that again, see if we can hit both of those bombs. All right, I decided to try with just the cubes. Being that we have more shots, they're still really heavy, so it's giving us more of a chance to hopefully hit this. That's looking perfect! Oh, that was worse, though. Okay, so clearly using the connectors was the way to go. 84% last time. I doubt this is 84%. Damn it, that's frustrating. I, I thought that'd be more. Let's just give it some time. You know, structural integrity is a thing, and clearly it's not working very well for it right now. Come on, fall, you little jerk. I see that you want to. I'll blow you down, bitch! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that worked. All right, we might have passed 84% now. Oh, how we do? 87. It's slightly better. All right, and that's it for the campaign, at least in the current version of the game. I should also mention there was a few levels that are locked now that were in my first episode. So do check out that one. Honestly, so, some of the levels in that one made me think a lot more than this. These were really easy levels, honestly, which don't get me wrong, is a good thing, but I was hoping to have some more challenging builds because there really wasn't many builds at all in this one. But uh, still, great destruction. And let's check out the sandbox as well. I never actually checked this out to see what this is all about. And okay, we just have a tower. We can pretty much design everything. We even change gravity. There's an extinction environment style, annihilation. I don't know really what this means. Oh, you know what? I think it's just the look. What the hell is in there? We'll build some pillars over here. Hopefully one of them hits it. And that should hopefully make this thing go off, which obviously is really what I want. There we go. Shoot, shoot. Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, I didn't even see this target selection up top. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so essentially just massive towers. Punch it. Punch it. Oh. I love it. Unfortunately, the back wall. Oh, hold on. Hold on. I was going to say I thought it made it, but clearly not. It got pushed backwards. And this one's going down as well. That is a lot of destruction. All right, just for funsies, I'm gonna turn gravity off the moment I hit this. Obviously, I need it on for this to fall and hit. And now if we turn gravity off, let's just watch this. <laughs> and now it's just floating away. Oh, you know what? We need more gravity-free maps. That's fantastic. I love that I can turn it on whenever I want. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this episode of Abris. Obviously, this was just another demo, but I'm really excited about this game. I think you guys know I love my destruction games. So yeah, I thought we'd check it out again and play a bunch of the new levels. I should also mention uh, I didn't play the levels that I already did in my episode one. So be sure to check out that. And yeah, if you want to know anything more about a Bristol, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.